Nomad makes DIY upside down table jigsaw. I've always loved you. You know that, right? I've always loved you. Hi guys and welcome back to the show. Today we are doing an unboxing and this time it's the Metabo BAS 261 Precision. It has a capacity of 103 by 245 millimeters and an induction motor. So let's not waste any more time and get right down to this. Nomad makes. So in the box we had the saw itself. There's the table, a push stick, a knob of some sorts, a miter gauge. This is really looks like a plastic piece of crap to be honest. The fence, and of course the user's manual. Or useless manual. Like most of Metabo's products, the user manual left a lot to be desired. But there was at least a written description of how to assemble the saw. First I tightened the blade to the desired tightness, but then it wouldn't track right. So I had to tighten the blade a little, uh, then adjust the tracking, and then tighten it a bit more and so forth and so on. Now bear in mind this is the first time for me ever using a bandsaw. So if you have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments below. You square the table to the blade by adjusting a long set screw on the left side of the blade. It took a little back and forth to get this right, because when you tighten the tilt mechanism of the trunnions, the top moves a bit. But 
we got there after a few tries. The fence locks both in the front and the back and to be honest I'm a bit impressed about how rigid it is. Now the manual didn't say anything about adjusting the bearings but luckily we have YouTube. I saw a great video by Matt Estella on how to set up your bandsaw. And this is a crucial step to getting your saw tuned up. And of course, if I remember, there will be a link in the video description. You want the bearings to be very close to the blade, but not to touch it. I gently pushed the thrust bearing into the blade and then backed it off a bit. Ran the blade a bit to check that it was not touching. And yeah, here you can see that there's a split hair between the thrust bearing and the back of the blade. The guide bearings get the same treatment, but it was a bit finicky to get them adjusted, so I found a use for the useless manual. I tore out a piece from a page and folded it double, and it made a perfect spacer. If you tilt the table you get quite easy access to the lower set of bearings. I got Baby Vader to teleport in and use the force to help. So adjusting the lower bearings were quicker using the useless manual spacer and the force. Wait for it, wait for it. Of course it didn't. You know, I guess it's just a perpetual optimist within me. I tend to use earplugs a lot in the workshop because of the noise from the air scrubber. And I was sent these by Minuendo. They are originally intended for musicians and have an adjustable dampening, which is quite cool. You can just flip back the lever and presto, you can have a conversation while wearing your earplugs. These are also quite effective, comfortable, and they are Norwegian made. And I think it is great to finally have some gear in my shop that is made in Norway. <laughs> so let's start it up for the first time. To check that the table is square to the blade, you can make a cut like this, then rotate the blade with the same edge face facing down. This effectively doubles the error, and if the blade fits in the slot, you should be good.
I don't have a bandsaw buddy. Hopefully I get one for Christmas. So to check that the fence was parallel to the blade, I made a rip cut and measured it in both ends. Now I don't remember the numbers and the camera insisted on staying in autofocus here, but based on my reaction I'd say that the fence was perfect out of the box. I love the sound this saw makes, it almost sounds like a cat. <laughs> now let's try resawing this 2x4. With the factory blade the saw was struggling a bit. I have ordered a 3 TPI blade, but it is 1mm wider than the documentation says the saw handles, so let's hope that works. It is supposed to handle 12mm blades and the one I have in the mail is 13, so let's hope there is some leeway. I might also get a thinner blade with a higher TPI to do some detailed cuts, however people say that they usually just use a general purpose blade for everything, since switching blades is a bit of a hassle. What kind of blade do you think would make a good general purpose blade for this saw? Please tell me in the comments. So there you have it guys, Baby Vader approves the saw. I also had to try cutting a tenon with the saw and that worked fine. And here's some pictures of a project that I've already completed using this saw. Again that is it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please remember to leave a thumbs up, if this is your first visit to my channel please consider subscribing. Below you'll find links to products I use and recommend and you'll find a link to my Patreon. Cheers guys and I'll catch you in the next one.